We're going to try our, uh, our, our homemade steady cam here on this one. What we're looking at is uh, embryonic development uh, represented by models of a starfish or sea urchin, some echinoderm embryo. So this solid ball right here represents a fertilized egg. So this would be the zygote. As that zygote begins to divide mitotically, these divisions are called cleavage. Um, so the first cleavage forms two uh, daughter cells called blastomeres. I'm not sure if that's in the book, but I'm going to give it to you. Blastomeres, this is a two-celled stage. Simple, one, two, two cells. When those two divide, it forms four blastomeres, which are called the four-cell stage. Then we divide again. We Four becomes eight-cell stage. Then we're going to start losing track of numbers. You could probably call it a 16-cell stage. But when you have a solid ball of cells like this, it's called a morula. So that's M-O-R-U-L-A. Solid ball of cells cells all the way through. Now that embryo begins to hollow out here and you can see that it forms a, a hollow ball of cells. The cells are getting smaller as you can tell uh, as they divide. This hollow ball of cells is called a blastula, B-L-A-S-T-U-L-A, -A -A, in a starfish. This is going to be a similar stage that you're going to find in the human called a blastocyst. So these are equivocal stages but in, a, uh, in this model, blastula this is also a blastula here. You see the cells have gotten much, much smaller. This is just a later blastula, but still a hollow ball of cells. Then you'll notice that you've got a little indentation forming here. Well, this is this process of forming that little uh, indentation is called gastrulation. Gastrulation forms the stage of the embryo called a gastrula. Excuse me. <clears throat> that opening actually becomes uh, the anus in both uh, starfish and in us. So this first opening, this first dent will form a, the opening to a tube, which is your gut, with this opening being the, uh, the anus. So this whole guy is called a gastrula, early gastrula, and then this is a much later, more developed gastrula, where you can see that that indentation has gone quite a bit farther. This is going to form the gut of that, uh, of that animal. And you can see some of what they call the primary germ layers having been colored in. So the outer layer uh, of this organism is called the ectoderm. The ectoderm ends up forming the, uh, the epithelium and the uh, nervous system of all things when that another invagination occurs. The endoderm is here represented in yellow. Endoderm goes on to form linings of uh, the digestive system and uh, linings of some other organs. And this little innocuous looking pink area is mesoderm. Mesoderm forms in different patterns, different like uh, pathways depending on the organism. But what it ends up becoming, this mesoderm, is most of the connective tissue, the muscular tissue, really the mass of the organism uh, is made up mostly of, of what used to be called mesoderm. So all of you, in, in, in human case, all of your muscle, all of your tendons and ligaments, uh, most of the uh, connective tissue, all of the connective tissue in your body is, is derived from, from mesoderm with, in us, this only forming some linings and this forming the, uh, the epidermis and, uh, and nervous system of all things, two very different things, but okay, that's it.